Mr. Albert Cornelius Freeman Jr. was born March 21, 1934 in San Antonio, Texas, where he lived with his mother after she and his father, a jazz pianist, divorced. He served in the Air Force and attended Los Angeles City College before heading to New York for theater roles. Al Freeman Jr. was a star among a generation of black actors that emerged during the Civil Rights era. His lucid fury and psychological insight made him a favorite of literary black playwrights in the 1960s. Freeman viewed his role as a black actor during that time as part of a larger unfolding drama. In 1993, he told Ebony Magazine, I wasn't down there on the front lines with Martin Luther King or preparing myself with the Black Panthers, but bringing life to characters in plays like Blues for Mr. Charlie and The Slave. That was my activism. Perhaps Freeman's most recognized role was as police captain Ed Hall on the ABC soap opera One Life to Live from 1972 through 1987 with recurring appearances in 1988 and 2000. He won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor for that role in 1979, the first actor from the show as well as the first African American actor to earn the award. He had played Malcolm X in the 1979 miniseries Roots, The Next Generations, and his portrayal of Elijah Muhammad the Nation of Islam leader in the film Malcolm X earned him the 1972 NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture. Freeman died on August 9, 2012 in Washington, D.C. at the age of 78 years old. No cause of death was disclosed. On September 10, 2012, a memorial service was held for Freeman at Howard University. In 2014, the environmental theater space at the Howard University Fine Arts Building was renamed the Al Freeman Jr. Environmental Theater Space in his honor. Rest in peace, Mr. Albert Cornelius Freeman Jr. March 21st, 1934 to August 9th, 2012.